All right, welcome back to Foundation. So I'm sitting on the wooden bridge over to the island where I built the keep. And our soldiers have recently arrived back, but we haven't been awarded the free land or the wine, little green men yet. And I have been working on the keep because I'm not happy with it. And I've been using pieces of the rustic church, and I'm not done because I can use pieces of the regular church too. But I think I need to build a regular church before that's going to look good. Oh, my ears. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's get out of here. Um, that's not a good place to sit. Well, at least we know the bell works. Um, anyway, let me show you what I have, okay? Before I turn... Oh, look, there's berries there. So, I'm not done. So no judgments yet, okay? But this is the little stone extension B of the rustic church. Hey, what do we get? We got one free territory, ten kingdom influence, a thousand gold, which we most lost most of it, and twenty little green men. How about that? Oh, now, uh, oh, oh, uh, this would be the keep, right? Not you. This would be this keep. They're still rookies. That's a shame. All right. After a lot of back and forth, I am going to settle for this look. And I could put the stairs back on, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to settle for the single entrance. And the four corner tops. And because it's on a hill, of course, the way the monument system works, it's not going to be even. But it looks a little better, I think. Anyway, we'll just start with that. And we've got enough planks to go there. And it's time for the church. I'm going to build a church here. And we're going to grab... We have $1,700 and we've been locked there for a while. So this land is free. I'm going to take that one for free. And that one for 500 And this one for 500 And that gives me enough to build, I think. Hmm... Send them up on another mission. I really want the church to be rather large and spectacular. Uh, so let's, let's, oh, we can't. We're down to negative 209. Ow. All right. All right. So we can't buy anymore. But yeah, the church is going up soon. Real soon. And the berry table part's full. Well, 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 well. Well. Not the well, the berries. All right, we have 95 happiness. We have got, let me open up my regular windows here. 784 of the berries. So let's put berries here for lack of anything better to do. All green check marks. Uh, anybody unemployed close by? Nope, we're not gonna worry about it. We'll just assign two. Murdoch and Reichman. Or Richie man. Who knows which. Anyway, go get some berries. Let's just, let's just get building. I own all this land. So, let's build the first part of the church. And then I can think about it. I think I'm going with the big blue church this time. Core. Man, that core looks small. Alright, we'll put the core somewhere in the middle of the island here. We gotta build a bridge, too. Nobody can build this thing until I build a bridge. And how do I want to start this? Do I really want to do blue? Do I want to do blue or do I want to do stone again? Just because stone looks more castle-like, I'm going to have to stick with stone. It's just the way it is. And this is just going to get the church started so I can start to build around it. Capacity a whopping 20. We'll put a couple of cores in. And you know what? Just because I want to see what it looks like, um, let's bring some rust. That, let's bring the one rustic church part in. All right, there I got it. So this, I, I'm gonna build this right next to here. You can see how the rocks different. There is no color option on the rustic church, but this will s tell us just how these two are gonna look together, with the church and the rustic church. 
So I'll delete all the pieces and get the rustic church expanding. Get the church building and then we'll evaluate what we want to do. The last time, if you remember, I built a big walled circle around the church. This time, this time I think I'm just going to build a giant center portion and then just build out and down. So it's a massive castle-like construction. And I'm going to need a lot more stones to do that. So we will start getting these stones. We'll build a bridge over here. We'll start doing these stones. A bunch of warehouses for basically a massive building project to get this thing off the ground. And uh, this is our experimental build here. And I don't want to build it too tall. I just want to get something built to see what it looks like. Right, you're going to come over here and you're going to want to get hop on the bridge and probably like so. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, 470 planks, start construction. And I need to now start ramping up basically our raw materials. Boards and stone. And I'm going to need to get some housing. I think I'm going to have to build two bridges uh, because right here. Okay, now that I look at it, that, that is a perfect spot for a wooden bridge. A little bit. That's 200 planks. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, start. All right, with my ill-gotten gains, I mean earned money, I bought this here. And so I'm going to expand the residential area um, out in here and then try to improve the quality of it. But um, you may you may take down the pines. That should be enough. And the rest of this uh, is left to leave the oaks. So I'm putting in a strip of markets here to uh, green up this area. This is that new residential area I set up. We've got uh, shirts or clothing and fish, bread, berries. Not so much in that order. Here's the end of the bridge. It's going to be coming across. We need another sawmill bed as well. So let's get that in. That is uh, 20 wood, 10 stone. We have 43 wood. We have enough. And let's just put you right across the street. And this should be just perfect. Just one more for now. And I'm going to high prioritize you because we are out of planks. All right, the envoy is requesting an audience. I'm looking at the uh, reforest, reforesters, forester's hut. Uh, there, there she is back in here. I think we need another lumber camp to help work on some of these woods, but let's see what you're doing there. You got a little piece of paper for me? I'll deploy my troops right away. And let's open the mission set and let's send our rookies out and maybe they'll level up this time. Maybe they won't. But regardless, we'll get another piece of free property. Where was I before that happened? Right, I was thinking we need another lumber camp and I might as well put it on the road here because this is the uh, spooky road into the uh, forester's hut. And she's done a great job planting trees. But let's give somebody to cut these trees down. And as far as the lumber hut goes, um, let's kind of put you right over here. Right, so it's still, it's still a walk in the woods. Building complete sawmill. All right. Any nearby employees to this? Any nearby unemployed, I should say. Farmer, farmer, farmer. There it is. Gil Gilchrist. Or Gilchrist. Unemployed. Perfect. Let me try to find another one. Uh, the farmers live over here, which is not ideal. But we will just randomly assign somebody then. Ban Ban. It's Ban Ban. The carpenter. Oh, there's a third. And Ringuar. Alright. The keep upgrade finished. I've seen worse. Somewhere. I'm almost positive. 
Um, it looks, I, I, it looks more like a keep. All right, it looks more like a keep, and that's just the way it is. Maybe because this window is here, maybe put in another set of what is that regular? Is that door A? Is that good still? Yeah, I think it'll look a little better. Okay. As if we had the plankage to be able to do that, right? Um, we are still sitting on absolutely zero zip nada planks. And we're actually down wood. Um, did our new lumber camp get built yet? Didn't even start on it yet. Where go away? That was gonna be in here somewhere? Yeah. Let's get going here, come on. We need more lumber and these camps are fully stocked, right? Yeah. All right, our soldiers are back from a mission, but before I get paid, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna spend the money we have because I'll lose it otherwise. And so what am I gonna buy? Uh, I'm gonna buy, let's see, I've got a lot of the land over here. Let's grab this one over here and let's grab, what do we want over here? Uh, I've already got behind here and over here. Let's go ahead and grab this one as it crosses and then my free bit of land will be one of these two. I still have 700. I'll grab... Where are we? This is the keep? Uh, I'll grab... Nope, we don't have enough money. Okay, well, I grabbed what I could. And uh, now I'll wait for him to give me my 1700 or 1000 bucks and little green men and free territory. Look what I forgot to do. And this could result in a lot of sales as well. I already assigned the goods, but we haven't assigned the available villagers. Do we have any? We should have unemployed close by. We do. And why didn't I put clothing up here? It's a good question. Good question. Uh, I think it's time to edit the market and put some clothing up here. A good stall. The one that's different. There's our thousand. All right, let me pause it real quick. I do green, green tent. There we go. All right, start. So now we have 1,500 in the bank and we have a free territory. Uh, it will cost tax, of course, but this is free, so we'll take it. And then the island only has two bits left. All right, if you count this, three bits. But this is one, and what do we got? We still have a thousand left. This is another. Okay. I have pretty much bought the island. Yep. Except for maybe this, this piece right here. We won't worry about that. And you guys still owe me a bridge, man. You're still not finished with the bridge. One thing I did want to do is, even though I have a well down the hill here across, um, the bakers do use water, and so ideally there will be a well near where the bakers are so they don't have to go very far for water. So I'll slap in a well right across the street here from where the bakers are. This should be a good spot for it right here. And yes, somebody will have to build that. And who's full? Stone cutter, good. That means we're building up stones. Probably a good time to put in some warehouses. Let's fly. You know, that, okay. You know, I'm not very artsy fartsy, right? That looks pretty good. That looks like a keep. Oh, flags. Flags. That's what it's missing. Hold on. Hold on just a minute. Uh, waiting for a builder. Oh, man. I, I prioritize this, would, would you? You only need five planks. Just get it done. Everything's high priority. You think anything's gonna get done? I don't think so. Then flags. You gotta have flags. Alright. 
And, uh, you know, I think that looks like a keep. Uh, we've only got three unemployed. We've been going to town. Uh, warehouses, right? Warehouses. It's time to start stocking up. And, oh, and a well. Another well. There we go. And then... I don't know what we want to do about warehouses. Your, your stonecutter camps are most likely filling up. This one's already full. Man, you guys produce fast. So let's, when we can, in your own time, I know it's a lot of work, all right, just for stone. And yes, that takes planks. No, I'm not going to high prioritize it. Look at those oaks, would you? You guys cut down a lot of oaks. No, no, no. You cut down pines. I, I made you build in the pines. Nobody's cut down any oaks yet. All right, we got a splendor parade with this because the mark these markets got done. Uh, what exactly did we unlock? The tax office, right? Because we've we've had the ten citizens. We needed the fifty splendor. The tax office has been unlocked. Ta-da! That's it. We're done with the labor line. And we still have a lot to go here. We have 35. Um, this is coming soon, so we can't unlock this. This needs 40 splendor, and we have 35 kingdom splendor. And then as far as these markets go, um, it should say who's living nearby. So we have berries, bread, fish, clothing, and, oops, unemployed. You're, you should be living right next door. And Osmond, that was Cormacan, Osmondus. And only two unemployed? We need, whew. When you, you're there, and then we'll assign whoever wins amiable. It's a very amiable market tender. How about that? All right, the bridge is finished, and work on the church has begun. Uh, but the big excitement for the bridge is we finally have workers coming over here starting to put these stone cutter camps in because I'm going to ramp up stone production and ramp up big. We already have some houses moving in over here. We've got more villagers coming in. This bridge can now finish probably in fairly good time. We already have 83 of 165 and we have 10 planks, which is more than zero. Now we've got 16 and the wood supply is going up as well. So. I'm trying to get a flag on the center tower, and uh, so I deleted this piece again, and look what I found down here. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from, but uh, you're gone. That must have been dropped in there. Anyway, now uh, you should be able to, if I have prioritized you, somebody ought to be able to get to this now and put a flag up there. All right, the other wooden bridge is complete. Oh, by the way, walls, okay, because, and they're still not behaving. They're still doing the zigzag thing. So I put up these wood walls because I never use walls, okay? Looks like clover leaves on an expressway. <laughs> but, uh, right, there's wood walls around our little island. And uh, I think, have you seen the dev notes for the next version, the content update? It's going to have horses. And, oh, good, you're walking around. Perfect. Uh, and I've got the stable. I'm going to put the stable in here. And uh, this will be pretty cool little area, uh, maybe for a couple of modded buildings in here next to the fort. But this bridge is now complete, and I'm going to have to use, I think, oh good, another house is going in. I'm going to have to use some uh, forbidden zones to get rid of the madness here. You know, I'm going to try something. Even though I think I'm done with building the keep, I'm going to make the core a part of the center keep here, and then maybe I won't have to... Uh, if I need to somehow modify the centerpiece, I won't have to tear out this piece because since it's part of the main building They ought to be able to just stand outside it and build it All right, the warehouses are complete and they're starting to load them up with stone and hey I made this an extraction area so they can actually work on their own rocks They were going to the closest other rock pile which as soon as the bridge was built 
was uh, actually over here. They were working over here. Uh, I'm not ready to assign this yet, but um, our stone numbers are going up. We were had 300 for a while. And the soldiers are back from a mission. Uh, the farms are full, so I'm going to need to store wheat. Should build a warehouse across the river there. I mean, I feel like I need to put some residential zones over across the river as well. Uh, we have a lot of houses building over here, which is good. There we go. Free territory, a thousand dollars. And it looks like we got the full that well. I don't know if we got the full thousand or not. But anyway, we got free territory, which I think is going to be this piece right here. Because why not? We have all the other pieces. Yes, let's grab that piece for free. Thank you. And, yes, how's the residential area looking? It's slowly extending out. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Uh, maybe some more warehouses and such. Uh, maybe some stonecutter camps. I'm not sure. Look at all this green area, though. Look at all the green area. And we have a lot of upgrading houses. This is working out pretty well. Um... The industry zones are grouped rather accidentally, but they tend to be grouped together in this village. And the house is also grouped together, uh, which I think allows them to upgrade more or faster. I mean, look at all these upgrades. And yes, boy, do these houses, do the grouping of these, these houses look a lot better. The only complaint I have is that when you have upgraded houses next to regular houses, they tend to crowd each other in. This one looks okay, though. And it's, it's almost blocked, but it's not blocked. But sometimes it, it just gets too crowded. And we still have that little house. Yeah, we have these houses to build right next to the church. They did... Can I see in there? They did leave a little bit of room. Not much room, but a little bit of room. And we can see as far as the church is going, though, that the two brick parts are not even close. So, unfortunately, these are not going to look good together. I'm going to let it finish just to see overall what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and build a small church, and it'll be a red church uh, in here because I want to improve this area as far as residential goes. So it'll just be a very small... There we go. 121 stone, 34 tools, 10... Planks, five glass, which we're out of, 50 gold. This may be our first church. Red, start. This area should have greened up nicely then. Right? Yeah, not as much as I thought it would. And so, I, this is all forbidden zone. Okay? And this is working well. It's a sharp corner here, but it is working, and you can see how they're coming around this way now. So that'll work just fine. And then to fix this, I did have to put in some forbidden zones to force them. Oh, I need them over here too. To force them to go around the wall, and you can see they kind of path over here. We're missing a pathing point there. But it works. Uh, don't shut that down because we're going to need them over here too. You're going to have to come out. And hopefully that'll work. Right, and uh, this church, right, glass. Glass, trade, glass, trade, glass, trade, 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 glass. We need to buy until inventory reaches, I'm going to say 50. And I need a warehouse spot for glass. And I... these things aren't full yet. So we're going to shut you down and change you to glass. You're going to be our glass warehouse. All right. It'll get some glass in the house. Quest complete. Build a church. All right. Well, the big church is done. The main church is done. And yes, this little piece does not look good. What does the church unlock? Unlocks the monastery. How about that? And if I go ahead and unlock that, I can get the copy room is coming soon. I can get the monastery and the apiary, and we're done with the clergy. 
and we're done with the labor and we need 5.1 kingdom splendorage to unlock the weaponsmith uh, and you guys are going in the door holy crap that's some traffic right there all right well you know what I did say that this time we're gonna build a church and we did uh, I we're not done by any stretch of the imagination can we focus can I get some focus we're not done by any stretch of the imagination good grief what have I done uh, our happiness is 94 three villagers are lacking the churchiness yeah and these parts don't look good together which is a shame I am building a red church over here so I can see how that looks but there's going to be a lot of, let's say, either bet yeah, between episode building of this church to get it to be how I want it. And I am, I'm not going to build it all in one section. So I think I picture the tallest section to be in the fattest part of the island. And then it to slope down from there. But when I say tall, I don't mean just one little peak. I mean big, fat church makes it look like a castle where it's just building after building after building. I want this to be substantial. Like, you can't see through it. It is substantial, and it really, it's really the focal point for the entire map. That's what I'm going for. Uh, we only have 182 villagers. Uh, you know, that might be enough. 412 stone. I'm getting there. I made some good progress this episode. But really need more raw materials to be able to do that all right that's going to be it for this uh, shorter episode we have 95 happiness and 961 in the gold department and everybody's happy supposedly and all is good uh, we have someone employed who will remain unemployed until next episode and we have our church in the background need some improvement it's it is the church i got the quest done uh we unlocked the monastery and such but the massive building begins uh next episode and we'll see we'll see what i can come up with it's gonna literally take a, a lot of episodes to build uh, i don't think i can, i don't think i can design the whole thing at once um, I'd like a functional church, though. I really should have built this off to the edge, right? Hindsight's twenty twenty. But uh, anyway, and hey, you know what? That keep actually looks like a keep. Uh, if I had to do it again, I think I'd do something very similar. That doesn't look bad at all. You know, I I, I never know what's gonna look good until it gets done, and I look at it and I say, you know what? That's believable. I think the flags do it. All right. Uh, let me turn off the user interface, of course, here. And, uh, right, there we go. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.